I'm a true proponent of public relations. I believe that in the core definition of public relations, we're building relationships with publics. That is what we do. I think the channel might change, the medium might change, the technology might change, but what we've done for decades and what we will continue to do for decades more is exactly the start. We create narrative, we create storylines, we uh, create long-term strategy for building brand value and relationships for brands. Whether we call it PR, communications, marketing communications, communications marketing, all the other you know, possible definitions, it all comes down to the same thing. They're looking for those PR agencies no matter what the channel is, whether it be digital, whether it be social, whether it be an aspect of media relations or an event to stakeholders, whatever that tactic or, or channel that we're going to use to create the conversation, it's actually what happens before that. What is the conversation? The way that we speak now is much more on a localized agenda, shall we say, and we should be speaking locally to our audiences. Audiences in Beijing and Shanghai think and act differently, and we should be speaking locally to them. So when we're looking at a country level, China, for instance, it's not very often we're actually acting on a country level. Within China, there are different languages and different cultural values that we need to respond to. I think it's really important that we have talent that is local, that understands the culture of the market, that has their ear to the ground, that hears the issues very quickly, and that we, as the management of those organizations, are listening actively listening and responding and taking on board what our local uh, colleagues are saying to us and understanding the background of the conversation that they're having and asking us, you know, them to explain properly um, to our clients why in, in international markets, why we need to pay attention to those local nuances. I think that uh, many brands find it quite difficult to find communications talent in China because the talent has had a very different route of education to get to the point that they're at. That is changing. We have some amazing homegrown talent in the greater China market. People out there that really understand what's going on with the, with the nuances of, of culture and value and the daily changing agenda um, that comes out of markets. And it really, really does come down to, to actively listening, I think. PR as a profession is growing, it's getting stronger every day. The way that brands communicate to, to stakeholders is so important. And especially when we're talking about a 24-7 news cycle. Uh, I think it's always very interesting when we're talking about the decline of news. Uh, in a sense, and really what we're talking about is the decline of the printed newspaper, perhaps. That authenticity is being brought into the digital sphere, and when we're looking at what do people trust, where do they look for an honest conversation about what's going on in their world, they are looking to the big media houses. They do understand the difference about the agendas of many of the, of the media, and they can distill themselves now. You know, the, the audience is very educated about that so that they can look at a few different channels every day to see what's, what's the actual nuance of what's happening behind that. But the value of, of PR is really that having the, the ear to the ground, understanding what's going on in markets, creating talking points or responding on behalf of brands to make sure that they're relevant, to make sure that they are um, moving the agenda forward in a way that uh, protects and helps the brand, but also protects and helps their consumers. In PR, if you're not authentic, just walk out the door. I think authenticity goes back to trust. It goes back to being honest and truthful with the stakeholders that we're working with. Talking uh, honestly with our consumers. Brand trust is the future of brands. And having uh, and building trust comes through building relationships. Building relationships comes through influence. And so we need to be influencing uh, the people we're working with, whether that be PR agencies directly communicating with consumers and clients, or whether working with business partners or such. We need to be communicating authentically. We need to be building trust. We need to be building respect. Um, and through doing that, we earn uh, the, the customers and clients that we have for our brands.